musical genius, the late Bhupen Hazarika's life will be captured on reel. The biopic is called Dhumwa, The Storm and will be directed by Kalpana Lazmi and produced by Pooja Bhatt and co-produced by Mahesh Bhatt. Here's Athya Khan getting you the details. When the legendary Bhupen Hazarika passed away, hundreds and thousands lined up to catch the last glimpse of the man. On his last journey, more than 5 lakh people attended the funeral of the bard of the Brahmaputra. For over half a century, his baritone voice moved many generations. His soulful songs touched many lives. And the person who stood by his side through thick and thin, Kalpana Lajmi is now all set to make a biopic on the legend's life. Dhumua is a short, fiery storm, you know, which comes and uh, doesn't uh, smash everything in its wake, but uplifts. And Bhupen was like that. The movie will reflect the different facets of one of India's most versatile genius. The most important element of this story of Bhupen's is the pathos and pain, which he reflected in his voice, which he reflected in his poetry and reflected in his life. And will for the first time throw light on the unconventional relationship between the maestro and the filmmaker. She is Bhupen's family. She Thank is you. Bhupen's love. If she doesn't have the authority to talk about Bhupen Hazarika, then no one does have that authority. I'm very clear about it. In this time when you talk about gender equality, where the female narrative needs to be put on the center stage. The recipient of many highest laurels, Bhupen Hazarika was not only the jewel of Eastern India, but was an icon across the country. Bhupinda is a man that uh, we need to kind of know far more about, but I don't think very many people of the present generation really know enough about him and they're doing themselves the greatest injustice. From the young to the old, Bhupen Hazarika struck a chord across generations. And the movie Dhumua is expected to draw a large crowd and resonate his larger-than-life persona. In Mumbai, Atya Khan for Times Now.